her. She's the one that dealt with the bristlebacks. Yeah, it's been a while since I last played. I think I don't have either of these. I just need money, money, money though. But yeah, it's been a long time. I've just been doing up, been busy with other things, which is annoying. At least I finally get to continue this epic story. And only in one of the recordings I noticed that bits were getting cut from the cutscenes which is not good may your enemies cower in fear into the mud with me But I've forgotten where I was going now. Damn, now I have no idea which metal flowers I've done. Both of them in hidden ember. Oh yeah, she was by the beach. Interacting two of the errands of places where I haven't actually been. So I guess we're just going around the desert, getting the metal flowers. That's one of those. Where is it even going? Rest.
Find a better use for this stuff than those glint hawks would. Holoshow Month. It's Holoshow Month at the Trinity for true life entertainment to the classic recording. We got it covered. See Donald Buckers in the Vegas or tune in to Rudy Mackey's comedy show. Little by Little Hollow Streams directed by Broadway, Tuesday through Friday's end. The month with an epic performance by Vanny with the special guest Shooty. Live at the Palala Palace. All shows available in your room or select reservations only hollow spheres throughout the resort. That wasn't very much in there. That place was empty. Yet. Into the void I go. Aloy! Oh, your timing couldn't be better. Over here! It's Aloy. Aloy! Oh, this is a grand day. Greatness is in the air. Or will be soon. Greatness, huh? Behold, I call it Morland's amazing elevating orb. Inspired by the floating spheres the Banook use for their clan contests. When aloft, this grand construction will be a spectacle henceforth unseen by the eyes of the living. Unburdened by gravity, it'll be a floating beacon, drawing people from great distances to our destination of wonders and amusement. Except... We're missing one key piece. A mechanical burner. Small, magnificent design. Old world ingenuity at its peak. We found it when we opened up more of the ruins below and discovered numerous statues of strange winged serpents. One such statue had the burner in its mouth. Oh, no doubt part of some ancient fire-filled spectacle. Oh, Aloy. It's perfect for the orb. But a swarm of burrowers chased us out before I could grab it. Could you get it? Please? I'm going to get repelled by the weakest machine. Me. I'm curious. I'll get it for you. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Okay. Okay, head down to where we fought that Tide Ripper after you drained all the water. When you get down there, head right and look for a room to the side. The statue you want is up high, looming like a nightmare. Got it. I'll see what I can do. Stupendous. Thank you. I await your return. <laughs> Yeah, they made a more accessible way up. Hello there. Ah, Red. Just who I need. You know her? Great. Then tell her that going out there is a bad bet. Well, you tell him. He better crank out what he knows before I pummel him in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, Della. What's going on? It's my sister, Boomer. She ran off into the desert. We, uh... We had a fight. I told her we'd discuss it in the morning after we both had time to cool off. But when I woke up, she was gone. And Spectacles over here was the only one to see her leave. But he refuses to tell me which way she went. You can't go striking off into the desert. There are storms, and if the sand doesn't swallow you, the vanishing dread will. You know what happened to the Delvers who went out there last? No, you don't. No one does, because they didn't come back. Well, what about my sister? She's out there all alone. 
Maybe she's a sunk cost. <laughs> I'm asking you, Red. Help me find her. What's the vanishing dread? That's what Stemmer calls the machine that stalks the sands out there. Sometimes you'll see it in the distance. A stationary blur of metal. It'll stay like that for hours. And then the next time you look, gone. Like it was never there. But what kind of machine is it? Don't know. No one's ever gone close enough to find out. A few of those delvers went out there once, but all they found was a bunch of sand dunes. But I don't care what it is. It's not gonna stop me from finding my sister. The argument you had with Boomer? What was it about? Well, it started out as the same old spark and boom. I found her tinkering with one of my prototypes, trying to add explosives, as usual. And when I reminded her that the last time she did that, she nearly burned the whole place down, she just looked at me and shrugged. Then we got into this whole scorched out mess about why we had to leave Chain Scrape and come out here. Why, for the love of the Forge, she has to blow everything up. And what did Boomer say? Well, that's the thing. She didn't say anything. She just sat there, ignoring me. Even when I went to bed, not a word. And then, when I woke up in the morning, she, she was gone. She's never done that before. But knowing her, she's gonna get in some kind of trouble out there. And that's why I need to find her. What brought you and Boomer out west? Ah, uh, that. There was an accident in Chain Scrape. An explosive accident? Well, you know how Boomer is. So we grabbed our tools and skipped town. Heard about a caravan striking out west after some passage got reopened. Decided to join up. But why come out here? You could have gone anywhere. Eh, can't really go back to the claim and... Anywhere else is a little too inhabited. At least out here, there's less chance of collateral damage. Besides, this place is gonna be a destination one day, right? Dad always said, get in early. If you think I can be bribed, know that I only take shards up front, no credit. Maybe we got in too early. If Boomer's lost in the desert, I might be able to find her. I'm coming with you. All this is my fault anyway. But you'll die. Where did you last see her? I suppose if you're with her, the odds of survival do go up. I thought I saw her heading towards the metal arches east of here. Then that's where we'll start. Let's go. Let's go, Devinky. But first, let's establish a base of operations. <sighs> let's go to the potion seller. He's selling two stronger potions. Oh wait, there's actually a proper village here in there. Fuck, we're gonna have to do machine strike, but I'm not doing it this time. Wait, how did you get over here as well? Flame hair. Want to relax and enjoy the lights for a bit? Found those face paintings, huh? Where's the Norland? Stemmer, did you need something? As a new dream dawned for the adventuring trio, they returned to the depths of the formerly sunken city. Where fortune was found behind every crumbling wall as a bulging keg bursts with free-flowing ale. That is, we broke our way into more of the ruins below, and in one of them, the wordsmith beheld a glimmering gizmo, a wonder among a sea of wonders. Among! Alas, 
The gizmo Cause. lay beyond his grasp. You saw some kind of gizmo but couldn't get it? A door bars the way, locked by some confounded means. Moreland contemplated explosives, but Abaddon thought the odds of crushing the gizmo under rubble were too high. For once, the shard counter skepticism might be warranted. The old wordsmith's hopes were dashed, until a friend with a knack for performing the impossible returned from beyond the sands. Might I persuade you to venture beneath the desert once more? I'll see what I can do. Where is this place? Once you're down there, take a ride at the statue of the giant man. The ruin rests beside a metal tower. And so our heroine went forth, and the wordsmith's hopes went with her. Now, how on earth am I going to open that chest, though? Oh, you're the food smith, not the straight game. You want to trade? You'll find me here. Hmm. We're getting loading problems a lot more than we did last time. Who here dares? Oh, you. Despite what I said before, I hope you find Boomer. You're the weapon, though. But we've already bought all your weapons. We haven't bought this. On your way, then. And, um, don't die out there. High time you made up your mind. Hmm. Let's find that boomer. Okay, boomer. Where is the boomer quest? Oh, it's that way. Fuck. Uh huh. I'll find a better use for this stuff than those glint hawks would. What fucking stuff? <laughs> yeah, I accidentally equipped the armor which I just bought. I made myself less defensive. This is almost higher. Look at she, I thought she was going with me. Into the floor with you. There's some scrap in the sand. Maybe from the arches. Boomer's handiwork? Let me search for tracks. There. Tracks. Looks like they lead out into the desert. No. What now? 
I think that other person's meant to be with me, but she just isn't for some reason. We will. Yeah, she's definitely meant to be with me. Tracks end here, but looks like Boomer set out some traps around the ruin. Source of that signal must be close. What signal? Long neck? Tall neck? Well, there's enough traps. I fall, damn it, fall in Raptor. Oh shit. I can't override that machine until I find the right cauldron. Trap almost jumped right onto a trap. I really thought she'd catch up. At some point. What am I meant to be doing around here? Because of like she's not with us, I don't think it's working. 
may have to reload. Well, now it says kill the machines, but we already killed them, so what are we going to do now? Let's take a look in the ruins. Maybe we can figure out where she went. Still not cooling off. This is Boomer's favorite hammer. She always makes a fuss whenever she misplaces it. She'd never leave it behind. Maybe she had to leave in a hurry when the machines moved in. Or something worse happened. Hey, we don't know that. Let's look around. She might have left another trail to follow. Hold on, Boomer. We're coming. Okay, Boomer. There. Looks like she headed towards the hills. Well, let's go. There's some kind of wreck up on that cliff. How did Boomer get up there? Uh, broken ladder. Must have collapsed as Boomer was climbing. So how are we gonna get up there? By not bitching. It's not that difficult to climb. This way. Right. Scaling the big old cliff. Yeah, just use your jet boost. Ooh, green shine. Is. What was this place? I don't know. It looks abandoned. The stash! It's got the stash, though! Damn, I'm actually running out of wood. And some kind of device. I actually, I actually might be running out of wood. Shit, I'm gonna actually need to get, start gathering wood again. From Boomer, a shelter, and some kind of device. From Boomer. Okay, Boomer. More weapon upgrades. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. Really? I need kangaroo parts. The rice field set. Need more machine cores. What's this device do, though? Like some of the components were stripped. She must have brought it up here to tinker after the machines moved into her camp back at the ruin. But where could she have gone from here? That wreck down there looks promising. Well, if there's one thing I know about Boomer. Is that she can't resist a shiny pile of salvage. Come on, let's go down and check it out. Ooh. What do you think Boomer was working on? Probably nothing. She just likes to tinker. Can't ever seem to keep her hands still. Trust me, I've tried. Huh. 
Hey, look there. At the base of the wreck. Tools. Bet you found another spot to tinker. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, she was working on something here, all right. But where? Oh, oh. Boomer? Gotta finish this. Boomer! What are you doing? Too late. Boomer, what did you do? Let's blast through her. Never mind that now. Here they come. Oh, wait, you're aiming for the wings. Your, your weapon's are actually pretty good. <laughs> wow, Boomer's weapon's are actually really good because it's so, like, okay, Boomer. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're meant to actually keep the back alive, aren't we? Wow, Boomer's weapon was actually really good. Like she took out them. Hey, Boomer, what were you thinking? Those machines could have killed you. Pressure valve, check. Boomer, boom disc, check. Boomer. She's such a boomer. Problem is, if I try to use our weapon, it won't work because it's one of them fucking disc throwers, which are absolute trash. If not used by an NPC. What's this? Fire arrows. Hey, Boomer? Yes? Your sister was really worried about you. Look, I know you must still be angry, but you can't run off into the desert like that. I didn't run, and I'm not angry. You're not? No, why would I be angry? Be because of our fight, be because you ran away. I didn't run. W well, you left me. I'd never leave you. You're my sister. I had an idea, so I went to find the parts. See? The weapon. This is just the payload carrier. The real secret are the boom disks. Throw one at a machine, slice and dice, and then it comes back until you throw it enough times, and then it goes boom. At least it's supposed to. I can't get it to come back. <sighs> that actually makes the weapon better. Like, if it just explodes That's straight away, fine. that actually makes it stronger. Pin here's off. Just needs a little cable around here. Done. Here, Red. Give it a try. No, wait! Try it on the big machine. This way. And there she goes. Like, imagine if she made an improved so disc thrower. you really did because of our fight. No. But you left camp without telling me. You were sleeping. Why didn't you wake me? You said you didn't want to talk until the morning. Well, yeah, but I meant about... <laughs> I didn't mean literally. Like, honestly, that disc throw would be so good if it like, was literally... It did, like, the level 3 disc throw without having to actually catch it three times. You just throw it and it throws level 3 disc. Like, she literally could have made a far superior version of it, of the disc thrower. What about the big machine? Let's Yay! Wait for her. Red's back! Mate, I wasn't even gone. How I did you find your way to that old ruin? I saw it when we left Camp Nowhere. And you remembered how to get there? Yep. So what's this big machine we're after? You'll see. 
Probably a Thunderjaw, which is going to be very hard to kill. It's just down there. Well, it can't be that big because I can't see it. Probably a burrower then. Where's that noise? Well, there's nothing here. Just watch. Oh fuck, it's one of those. It's just a regular cell snapper. Is that a freezer? Hey! Use the thrower! Never! I fucking hate throwers. Oh fuck! I'm not surprised about damage. <laughs> okay, where's my my stun locker? Did they change how this thing fights so it's actually fair now? I'm still getting absolutely destroyed though. Didn't mean to do that. I just can't do these. Like, what am I meant to do? I've never been able to do these fucking things. They're like one of the hardest enemies in the game. I don't know why they. I just struggle so much against these. The weak to fire and acid, they're neutral to electric, so electric should be fine on them. Alright, how do I hit these fucking uh, shell bolts? Shell bolters on it. The fuck is it? Because we need those shell bolters. The fuck are shell bolters? Where are the shell bolters, though? They're literally just the outside parts which keep the shell together. They're not the inside thing. They're not these plasma generators, okay. Mate, you're hitting me through the fucking floor which is so dumb.
I don't have, like, I don't have the ability to roll. Like... Like, I can't roll out this thing's way. Oh, yeah, of course. It's almost done. Mel, just healing. Look at them shell bolters. They're so hard to get. Well, awesome. we got a shell bolter, so I can cross that off. Where's the turtle shit? Annoyingly, my cat ate the fucking list. So it's like all ripped up. Did you see all of those sparks when it went down? Oh, I did. Bursting sparks, flying metal, ba-boom! You okay? Ever since we left the claim, I figured I could just hammer it into her head to quit it with the explosions. Everything would be better. And after your fight, you thought you lost her because you were too hard on her. Turns out I was wrong about that too. She doesn't see the world like I do. Where I see a problem, she sees a way to blast through it. And I guess that's okay. I wouldn't have gotten her back without you, Red. Boomer's lucky to have you. As for the weapon, keep it. As thanks. You ready to head home? I think I just got a new idea for a prototype we can work on. With explosions? Oh, you bet. Yes! Bye, Red! More explosions. We just got completely fucking wrecked. Wow, some really expensive ones on this stream. Hmm. Try and knock his feet off. Can't it looks a bit purple. Sweet to fire. Fucking hate these things. <laughs> Why the fuck is that for?
need to scan this thing so we can know where its feet are. Because I can't aim properly at it through the floor without... Why are we not break? Are we not getting his feet here? Do I keep accidentally breaking them rather than tearing them? Or is it no? We are supposed to get them. Well, that sucks. We didn't get any of the feed because for some reason it decided that it was going to blow them up rather than give me them. Have we? I think every compartment we knocked off this has been destroyed. Maybe it doesn't like the fact that I'm fighting it not in the arena. That I'm not stood in the arena, so it's like just destroying all the parts rather than letting me have them. Like, that's pretty scummy, like. It literally blew up every part I knocked off. Okay, no, we got the storage containers. But we didn't get any of the feet, which sucks. Because they're what we need. Guess we just do too much damage. <whistles> no, he didn't die. Oh, in my pack. You almost died, though. for this stuff than those Glintocks would.
Like, what other weapon was I supposed to use, though, to get them feet off? I guess we just don't fight Apex ones, because their feet just break before I actually get them. Of course he starts fucking running as soon as we're, like, right there. Decided to wait, like, all that time before I run in. Well, that wasn't really very much here. Looks like there's something there. 